Hey guys, so I was updating my Bass's Night Slayer guide and long story short, I wanted to definitively calculate the DPS or damage per second of various weapons against Bass's Knights. If you've done this Slayer task before, you know that it could be a very long task and there's a lot of mystery surrounding the optimal ways to do the Slayer task faster. So I basically spent like 10 hours inputting different armor setups into DPS calculators to sort of visually see how different gear setups stack up against one another. I was doing these calculations mainly for myself at the beginning, but as I got into it, I thought it would be very useful just to share that information with everyone else. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and present my findings. You can also skip forward to the end of the video if you just want to see my conclusions. Also a disclaimer, the numbers that you see in the video can be a little bit inaccurate. These numbers are just theoretically generated. I didn't actually spend hundreds of hours killing Bass's Knights to get these results. I basically used Bitter Kojo's and Old School Dot Tools DPS calculators to get these numbers, so if you want to play around with those calculators, you can find them in the description box below. So this first page is all the calculations that I got, and I know it's quite overwhelming, but basically I was just going through the DPS calculations for different combat styles. So you can see we have one for max melee and all the different weapons that we have here. I also did the calculations for max magic, and of course comparing all of the viable range setups that you could do, so a max gear setup with two tick weapons like knives or darts. And also if you're using a max gear setup with a crossbow and all the DPS outputs of different bolts. And to the right, just seeing how different the DPS output changes if you swapped out the body, leg, foot, and ring slot with prayer items, so for two tick weapons as well as crossbows. The stars that you see beside certain items are just there so you can visually see what the best value items within their respective categories are. And at the bottom right corner, just calculating the approximate prayer drain of each setup. Right, so using Monk's Robes, for example, is going to give you a much different prayer drain than using a max gear setup. So with all these calculations, I was then able to generate some theoretical setups that most people would use for killing Bass's Knights. And you can see here that I did 16 different setups, comparing the total cost as well as the time taken to do a Slayer task. So I sorted it all by time so you can visually see what is the most effective setup. You can also see that I was mainly focused on range setups because melee is actually very tough to theoretically calculate since the calculators don't let you input the DPS lost from taking damage from Basilisk Knights. Honestly, all of these calculations were pretty interesting to me and it might be interesting to you if you're killing Basilisk Knights yourself, so you could pause the video to take a closer look at these setups, but I was able to come up with 5 different conclusions about killing Basilisk Knights. Alright, so the first point is that max melee is actually pretty fast with a Blood Fury. The time that you save from the Blood Fury could be very valuable to you. And of course, if you're using a melee setup, eating food will lower your DPS substantially because there are delays in between attacks. Also, if you're using lower level armor, it could also lower your DPS, but overall it could still be a good setup for you to use if you have really poor ranged or magic gear and levels. So the second point, Dragon Darts, Dragon Knives, and Dragon Bolts are definitely not worth it. This includes Dragon Stone, Dragon Bolt Enchanted, or Diamond Dragon Bolt Enchanted. They're all very terrible value. The Dragon Stone Bolt Enchanted, the Rune version, also provides very similar damage output and only costs one sixth of the price. And Rune Knives have a very similar story as well. The third point here is that two tick weapons like Knives and Darts get increasingly worse and expensive with bad gear. So only use two tick weapons if you have amazing gear to go with it. If you have a fully max setup, you may even want to consider adamant or mithril darts because of how cheap they are. With a max setup, you can get very competitive slayer task speeds at cheap cost with two tick weapons. The fourth point is that Dragonstone Bolt E is the superior bolt for any crossbow setup against Bass's Knights. No question. They're relatively cheap and has comparable stats to Dragon Bolts. For Iron Man, Rune Knight or Amethyst Bolts are the second best in terms of value and DPS. And the fifth point, mostly for Iron Man, but to save prayer potions, don't use Rigor or Eagle Eye Armor setups. As you can see by the 15th setup, a ranged prayer crossbow setup using the highest level bolt you can and not using any ranged accuracy prayer boost will cost you the least amount of prayer potions. But by doing this, expect your task time to be about 30 minutes to an hour longer if you're going this route. And if you're also up for prayer flicking, you can also do it with rigor. It does shave off a lot of time and cost from your slayer task. Yeah, but that's basically it for all the findings for comparing different weapons. Just keeping it simple and to the point, and hopefully it has helped you out, and you should expect to see my updated Bass's Night Slayer guide on the channel pretty soon. So thanks for watching, leave it a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.